this presentation. As Professor Simonberg said, my topic is adapting the common European framework for uh, of references for languages to the local context. context. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the context where we did this adaptation, the need for the chain, procedures that we followed, the new framework we, ca we came out with, and the challenges and solutions that we, we faced and, and applied. These are some photos. This is the institute where I used to work as the, the head of English department, and we applied this. Uh, and of course, before going on, this is out of uh, what we did of experience. It is not a result of research. It was not a research or whatever. It's just something we did, a project we did. These are some photos of particular classes. That's me. That's me before getting fatter like you. <laughs> well, the context. First, English status in the community. Yemen is an EFL country. English is a foreign language. In spite of the expanding use of English now nowadays in Yemen, but it is still an EFL country. And when we say an EFL country, so most of the exposure for the student is going to be inside the classroom, not outside the classroom. The institute that is Atlantic Institute for Languages. It is, it is an institute or a private language institute that provides short courses. It does not give degrees. It's just short courses, ranging between 20 hours to 200 hours, but at the end it's not a degree and it does not consider it to be a degree. English courses. English courses provided in this institute and in other private language institutes in the area are whether remedial courses for school children, or preparation for their study in the, in the academic field, or preparation for getting a job, or for getting a TOEFL, an international exam, or whatever. They are all short courses, foc focused courses, for, for, for such purposes. The need for the change. Why did we think of adapting the Common European Framework, and how we, we arrived to the, the, the Common European Framework? First of all, the main reason is the ambiguity of the existing frameworks all over the area. And to, to put this clear, for example, a student or a learner can come from uh, Institute X with a certificate saying that he got advanced level. Going to Institute Y, getting a placement test, goes to beginner level. So what is advanced? What is elementary? What is intermediate? There is no uh, certain or definite standard to measure all these. Even some institute would claim that they take a child or a learner from a very basic beginners start as A, B, C, D till the very advanced in 200 hours, in sitting courses of 20 hours. The increasing demand for international exams. I am as a teacher and as the head of the, of the English, uh, language uh, department, many times I, I stood speechless in front of a student coming to ask me, teacher, do you think if I apply for TOEFL or IELTS I can pass? With my level, I got the certificate from your institute. I couldn't tell him anything because I don't know really if, if the certificate of, of this course can be enough, giving him enough knowledge. So that we have to search, we had to search for a reference uh, framework. The need for quality assurance of the English teaching process. And this starts with putting a very clear objectives, very clear aims. And this aim should, should be included in, in, in a clear framework. The weak outcomes of the English teaching programs all over the area, and always researchers in Yemen telling that a lot of teaching of English, but real learning of English. So all this makes us, made us think of the real need for making a reform. The procedures, what we did. First, of course, we started in 2009, cross to 2010. We formed a committee from the teachers in the institute, and this committee was uh, th their uh, their responsibility, their job was trying to search for a framework to adapt. Of course, before that, we didn't know about the Common European Framework. Then we tried to search for an international reference framework that this committee tried to do. We tried consulting a local and foreign expert, and most of this uh, uh, communication was a kind of friendly communication rather than formal communication because of the economical uh, situation. The institute was not able to pay for formal consulting from, from Xibar. 
then selecting the, the, the reference framework, that is the Common European Framework uh, of References for Languages. And uh, before I go, the British Council was the main source of us who, who directed us to this framework. And after that, we started to read about it and to search. Adapting the framework in form of leveled courses, and we will come later on to see the, the Common European Framework and the adaptation process. Selecting, adapting, designing the teaching materials, and I included three words, selecting, adapting, designing, because that's actually what we did. We did the three processes, and this will come later on. Consulting some experts to ensure that our new framework based on the, on the, on the uh, Common European Framework is, uh, is good and has a good quality. Piloting and applying the new framework, actually for about one year, we kept in trying and meeting regularly and trying to evaluate that there were meeting, regular meeting and evaluating each stage. Let's see about the Common European Framework. That is the framework that we applied. I'm, I'm sure that all of you know about it, but it was not the case for me when we started this. So I think it's better to, to talk about the main feature that attracted us to this framework. Well, it's a six-level framework of language performance. It's not a kind of language result or exam. It, it's language performance consisting of six levels. It will come later on. It states general objectives to be achieved for each stage rather than examining them. And that what makes it uh, easier to adapt for the course designer, course material designer, or to be a framework for teaching. Uh, it tells what the learner can do, what the user can do with the language, rather than what the learner cannot do. Most of the well-known international examinations like ILETS, TOEFL, FCE, and others, claims the relationship of their exams to the framework. And if you can search in the, in the Google and the Internet, you will find most of them claim this claim, say this claim. Well, the levels of the Common European Framework. There are six levels. A, basic user, A1, A2. B, independent user, B1, B2. And C, proficient user, that is C1 and C2. For each level, there is a comprehensive uh, description of what a learner can do. Because of the, uh, of the sake of the time limits, and we don't have here enough space, I quoted just this about reading. For example, the reading in A1, it states that uh, a learner can understand familiar names, words, and every simple sentence, for example, on notices and posters or on catalogs. In C2, that's the highest level reading, the learner can read with ease virtually all forms of the written language, including abstract, structurally or linguistically complex texts, such as manuals, specialized articles, and literary works. More comprehensive description can be found online for all. I don't know if it is going to open. Yeah. Like this. And you can even find more description about the Common European Framework and the stages. Well, our new framework. Based on this framework, we studied it. We try to read it carefully and to study all the stages and the description we did. And then we thought about our context, but bearing in mind our context and how to adapt that into courses. We came up with 22 level framework comprising 1060 classroom hours. And mainly they are 20 and two were very studied for the children. We will see them later on. Assume 2120, that is the double of uh, 1,060 hours for home and self-study. And these hours for home and self-study increases as, the, as the, the learner get advanced, as the level get advanced. For more advanced, the more advanced the learner, the more self-study hours assigned. Four exam preparation courses of 40 hours, because it's a need. After each stage, when we say that there is a relationship between this stage and this uh, grade of, of the international exam, as it will come in this next slide. Depends on the exam the learner would like to set. And this is our, our new framework with the 22 uh, courses. And uh, we had these courses out of 50 hours, except of the two first, that's for the children, 30 and 30. And we divided them into five diplomas, 
basic, independent, advanced, proficient, and proficient B. And here the relationship claimed with the Common European Framework. So we assume that when a learner is studying this, finishing this elementary, he would be this, he would be this, he would be. Of course, we, we adapted our own titles for our own courses, but we put it clear and we know to, to what extent it is matching the Common European Framework. And here the assumed international exams, according to their claim, to be able for the learners to be able to get it. Uh, for after each stage, well, for example here, 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 and here, we have optional exam preparation course of 40 hours. In this optional exam preparation course, actually it's not a language, it's more about uh, getting them used about the form of the exam, for example if it's TOEFL or IELTS or so on, to be prepared for that exam. Course materials. Of course it was uh, maybe the, the hardest part of it, to select the course materials, and uh, the committee tried to review the course of materials available in Yemen, and we could choose the headway blast as to be the main course, not everything, but the main course. I cannot claim that it is the best, it might be the best or not, but according to our context in Yemen and the course materials available there in, in, in the Yemen market, this, one, the, this was the best to show the framework, our new framework and the context. Supplementary materials assigned by the department committee, some of them were adapted from some books, a page or two, a unit or whatever to be adapted, and some of them were designed by the teacher. That's why I said selecting, adapting, and designing the materials. And uh, in the syllabus, we have 20% of the time of each course left for free activities flexible for the teachers and the learners at choice. Yes. At the end, to, to give, uh, I mean, to, to, to arrive to the desired objective we decided for the course. The result. The result of all this process was, one, first, clear understanding of what we do for us as teachers as an institute. We become clearer of what we are doing. As I said earlier, we didn't know what we are doing, what we were doing. We were just teaching. And then we don't know if we, if we match the, the, the aims of the objectives or not, if we match the expectation of the student or not. It's just as it is happening, I think, in most of the context, buying a course book, applying it, and we will be able to start and learners start to learn. Massive increasing rate in the numbers of learners. By the end of the piloting test, uh, uh, actually it was the number of the learners doubled. When they get, I think, the reason when they get a clear uh, framework, they know exactly where they are and what they need. And it was motivating them to go for longer hours. They continue to take more courses. According to the previous framework, um, students will, will take one, two, three courses and then say, enough. But here we have students who have continued for more than seven and nine courses continuously. And also from the feedback of the learners, it were much more better than it was before. More trust from learners, parents, and organization, as it is clear about the framework, and we give them this framework. More recognition to the institute certificate, I will show you just now the, the certificate. This is the certificate of the institute. This is the front side of the certificate, telling that the learner has got this elementary B level of 50 hours and the, the, the grade. And in the back of the certificate, we have this. That is the level of the, of the student, elementary B, means that it matches this. And so, wherever the student goes with his uh, certificate, it could be recognized. It's not Atlantic elementary, but it's Atlantic elementary that matches this kind of, of grade. And uh, to, to, to ensure more, and to be sure about our product, we put this scale, so to be boss, of course uh, our marking scale is uh, percent A out of 100. He should, he should be 60 to get boss. Less than 60, he could be uh, considered as, as fail. And, and so on, for the readability of the, of, the, of the framework. The main challenges that we faced and the solutions, well, the first and the most, and the biggest challenge was assigning a sequence series of level. We have six level framework, and we divided this six level into 22 levels. It was not an easy task. And we need for this division to get a detailed comprehensive description for each level, for the teacher to, to know exactly what to do 
and for the learners and for also the family youth. Selecting and I said adapting or designing the teaching materials to sort the objective and the, ob the description that we bought, that we assigned for each level. Placement test, and uh, I'm afraid to say, up to now we are still working, or they are, because I'm not there anymore, they are still working in the placement test, trying to develop it, and I think we can never come to a perfect placement test. I think it's the case very well. Teachers. Teachers, as they were unaware, as I said, even our, we ourselves, we were unaware of something called the Common European Framework. So we need to, to inform them and to train them about this framework and to keep informing them, telling them what are the description and what are they supposed to do. Especially, especially that in the Private Language Institute, uh, teachers are not, I mean, with fixed time. They are not a uh, full-time employer. They come for, for hours. So always we have new teachers. All the time we have new teachers. Length of the program, of the program, especially in a context where students used to get courses of 20 to 30 hours and uh, uh, a program of 200 hours and to get a certificate of advance. So the learner will say very simply, why shall I come to your institute and study 1,000 hours while others can give me the certificate in 200 hours? So we kept telling them why we are doing this and what is the benefit. We, we hold seminars, brochures, keep t talking to them and so on, but it, it, it worked very well. Other institute in the area, that is the business competition, it's a hot business, the teaching English, and so they try to give ch cheaper with, with a shorter hours. Well, that's, that was all, and we talked about the context, the need for the change, procedures, the new framework, challenges and solutions. Before I close this presentation, I'd like to say, with the Common European Framework and with our new framework, we could understand the meaning of this phrase. Work with a clear vision of the end. We could succeed in our context. We managed to succeed. And I think it's in other contexts also. Thank you. That's all.